WTB TV is now continuing our team coverage of breaking news this morning. Emergency crews working right now to try to recover two children trapped underground in Lincoln County. This happened on Cedarbrook Court in Stanley or near the town of Stanley. Our WBTV's cam man Ron Lee live there on the ground. Ron, I know you've been there for quite a while now and one of the things with the recovery effort now is you have to really take a lot of precautions to keep these rescue workers safe. Can you talk a little bit about what they're having to do to be careful themselves? Yeah, you're absolutely right on that, David. I did talk to the battalion chief a short time ago, and he tells me that they've been on scene for over 12 hours, and in that time, even with 50 people here working on this site, they've only been able to get down about 20 feet. Now, that's twofold, the reasons for this. One of the reasons is, obviously, for a safety issue. They don't want any more of this dirt to come collapsing on top of them. Uh, the second reason for that is it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a respect issue. Uh, when you're dealing with a couple of uh, small children, you don't want to go in there and just start ripping up dirt and that type of thing. Things. So they really want to treat the area and the site with a lot of dignity, but they also want to get these children out as soon as they can. What about family, neighbors, that sort of thing? I know you've probably seen a lot of neighbors coming around the area. Are they talking to you? What are, what are they saying this morning? Uh, well, the, the family neighbors really kind of dissipated about 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. They were all just shell-shocked at that point. That's pretty much uh, the words that I can come up with. Uh, they really couldn't believe what has happened. And even if it was, uh, it was coming uh, right in front of them, it just, it's hard for them to comprehend uh, that uh, two small lives may have been extinguished in this tragic accident. It is bad stuff. Thank you, WBTV's Cam Man Ron Lee reporting live this morning. We'll keep you updated on any new developments in this story, both on the air and on our website at WBTV. TV.com. As of this point, we're still being kept a little far back from the scene. But what I can tell you is you were talking about those rescue workers. Uh, this rescue is really taking a toll emotionally on those folks that are uh, doing that grim task of trying to pull those two young bodies out. Uh, the, the rescue workers that I have seen, as well as uh, police officers and even the media here on the scene, is uh, the mood is real heavy here. It's a very, very sad feeling knowing that we're out here having to cover such a terrible uh, accident. And uh, it's really, as I said, really taking its toll on the rescue crews out here. They've been out here working on this for about 13 hours right now, and we're hoping that the situation wraps up very quickly. Uh, to that point, Ron, uh, I don't know if you could tell us, it is emotionally, physically uh, as well. Do you see any efforts to maybe switch out some of those rescue crews? I know some of them have been there at, at least 12 hours. I don't know if you've seen maybe a fresh set of crews coming in to help out. Yeah, Charlotte Mecklenburg uh, actually left here a couple of hours ago. They were uh, one of the first ones on scene because they've got the heavy rescue equipment. So they were working for uh, for many hours. They have been relieved and they are on their way home, if not home in their stations right now. And the local crews have been uh, taking over right now. They usually do a rotation because they don't want these guys physically or emotionally exhausted because once you get to that point, you really start to lose concentration. And if you make a mistake, especially in a situation like this where you're working in such a dangerous location as this 20-foot pit, we're talking about, it'd be very easy to make a mistake and have something even more tragic happen.